Today we're going to talk about DaVinci Resolve 18 and in particular about project settings and how you can change those default settings for your project in DaVinci Resolve and how you can actually create presets and every single time when you're doing a video for TikTok or Instagram you have a preset for a vertical resolution and then you can create presets for different frame rates and aspect ratio. It's so easy, we're going to do it today. Let's go. So we are now in DaVinci Resolve 18.6. So uh, let me go ahead and open a project. Just untitled project for now is good. You can change the name later. Uh, let me show you where all the project settings are. So go on the right bottom corner here where you'll find this gear icon project settings click on it and then you'll be presented with this window over here and you can see here these are the default settings for every single project that you will create in DaVinci Resolve. These are the default settings and we need to change them and the reason you have to change them is that you know to save time you know already what project are you making most of the time you will create a project for youtube or a project or a short film you know already what your project is needing you need a you know a full hd timeline resolution perfect you need a 4k resolution perfect so in order to save time you will have to create a preset but before we'll create the preset let's go ahead and change a few settings for me personally what i do most of the time i create a 4k timeline so i like my project settings to be 4k here we are okay and the timeline frames per second because i shoot on my canon r5c and i shoot in 29.97 frames per second or you know 30 frames per second you can shoot in 23.9 or 24 25 it depends on your camera what you're shooting in the most important settings for me as a macbook user is the color management and these are very very important and this is the reason actually why i have to create a preset and not use the default uh, preset that DaVinci Resolve offers me. Okay, so here, color signs, leave it to DaVinci YRGB, timeline, color, space, here, where you need to change the settings if you are using a Mac. If you're using a Windows computer, you're fine with Rec. 709, but very important, if you're using a Mac, you need to go ahead and change the settings to Rec. 709A. I have a video about this and I will link it into the description so you can have a look at it, okay? Output color space, again, 709, Rec. 709A, boom. Here we are. These are the main settings that you will have to start with. You're fine with these settings. If you want to change a lot of settings here, we can create another video and I can explain to you all the settings over here. But these two are the most important settings when you want to create your first project in DaVinci Resolve or when you want to keep creating, you know, projects in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so once you are happy with everything you see here on the master settings, go ahead and click on these three dots over here. Press on them and let's go and save a current settings as preset okay go and click on them and let's add a name i would say and see okay so this is 4k 29.97 frames per second i'm happy with the name i mean you can name it whatever you want but i know that this is a 4k uh, timeline uh, and uh, I'm, I'm happy with this i'm gonna save it okay Let's have a look here again. So you see straight away you can see these uh, preset appeared here. Now I want to make this preset the default preset. For this, you have to come over here and go to set as default preset. Click on it and the vent result is going to ask you set preset as default. Yes, please. Set. Boom. Done. So you can go ahead and save this. But I know that a lot of you and me including sometimes i need a timeline that is a you know vertical 
I want to create a TikTok, I want to create an Instagram, or you know, I want to create a vertical video for YouTube Shorts. So for this, what we're going to do is simple as clicking on this square over here and toggle this on use vertical resolution. Now, my 4K resolution is still 4K, but it's in vertical. Okay, and now you can see the frame rate is the same and the playback frame rate is the same. So what I want to do, I want to go here and create a preset. Go again and click on save current setting as preset. I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I'm going to save this. Boom, done. As you remember, my default preset at the minute is the 4K 29.97 frames per second. And let's check that, okay? I'm going to I'm going to click save here, but I'm going to close now DaVinci Resolve, okay? Do you want to save this? Yes, please. I want to save this and I'm going to do 4K vertical just to show you that every single time I open DaVinci Resolve is going to open with my chosen default preset. Okay, so now if I'm going to go and open another project, Untitled Project, okay, I'm going to go here again, click on this icon you see. Again, you see it's 4K and it's not vertical resolution. Okay, and if I'm going to go here and open our previous project, 4K Vertical, I'm going to check you see, here's vertical resolution. You see, so it worked. Okay, and now let me quickly show you how you can change your frame rate of a project. Okay, let me quickly go here and add a clip. I'm going to add this nice. Let me add this one. Okay, so when you import a clip to DaVinci Resolve, right, you don't really necessarily know what frame rate the clip is unless you know it's fine. So here is the trick. That's why it's very important to know your timeline frame rate. And it's important to have a preset and, you know, know that you want your timeline to be, you know, 25 frames a second, 29, 30, it doesn't really matter. Okay. So here, when you import a clip, then DaVinci Resolve asks you, do you want to change the project frame rate? to according to this clip over here and basically well most of the time you don't know what uh, frame rate of this clip is and the problem is you cannot change the frame rate after you've imported your clip so let's assume you want to change the project frame rate to equal the frame rate of this clip okay i'm gonna go and change and okay this is my car over here. This is the clip. I'll drag it here in the edit page. Okay. And now in order to see the frame rate of this clip, you have to go again here. And then you see that the frame rate of this clip is 30 frames per second. But my timeline frame rate initially was 29.97. So it means that the frame rate was changed. Okay. There is a way to change the timeline frame rate, but what you have to do, you have to create another timeline. Let me show you how it's done. Go to timeline, create new timeline, click on it. And then here you have use project settings. Toggle this off and now you'll be presented with more options here. So go to format and now instead of 30 frames per second as the clip, you can choose whatever frames per second you want. So I'm going to go to 29.97 as my preferred uh, timeline frame rate. I'm going to go create and I'm going to go and bring the clip on this timeline. And I have two timelines. You see, I've got this timeline over here. Timeline 2, which is 29.97 and timeline 1 is 30 frames per second. And to prove you that, I'm going to go here, click on it and you see you have 30 frames per second and it's locked in. Okay. I'm going to go to timeline two. Okay. Well, let me go check the settings and you see timeline frame rate is still 30, but have a look at this message over here. Any modification done here will not impact the currently loaded timeline as they are being overridden by timeline settings. What does it mean? It means that 
our timeline is modified with the preferred settings that we did earlier. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to prove you that when I export my clip on the timeline too. I'm going to press I. I'm going to press O to select this portion of the timeline. Go here. Okay, and you see here frame rate when you go to export the settings, you're going to see frame rate here is 29.7. Beautiful. So this is the way around to change frame rate in your project. And this is it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some value out of it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing and why not buy me a coffee? I love coffee. No more than two a day though. And you know, take care. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you. Bye bye.